Welcome back, New World Explorers. Today's video will be about the world tours that you see shouted for from time to time. It's a great way to improve gear score. This one will be about the Imperial Palace, level 65 plus area in Ebon Scale Reach. This area is full of tons of small chests and elite chests alike. It's a great place to farm for furnishings and food recipes. And if you're very, very lucky, you can get a goldfish in a porcelain bowl. If you get this, you hit the lottery because it's worth max gold. I've seen people pay 500000 for it. I've actually only ever seen one sold. And um, it was for a buy order that somebody had listed for 500000 gold. Some people may even pay more than that if they have a company treasury. I'll just let you watch the basic route, and I won't talk very much. You can just listen to the game music and the battles, um, see where some of the chests are. And then whenever we get to the lead area at the end here of the first section, uh, we'll talk some more about it. Like I said before, this is a great place to farm for furnishings, as well as food and recipes. Now we're going through an area with a couple of houses we go up inside of to get chests that are on the top. Uh, these can drop some schematics for furnishings, uh, recipes, also sometimes legendary crafting materials, and some of the things like precision armoring tools, engineering tools, etc. Now we're nearing the end of the uh, basic area and we'll get ready to fight some of the more of the elite mobs such as the palace tigers, uh, the samurais, uh, tendrils, and the palace summoners which can all drop great gear uh, all the way up to level 600 gear source. So it's a great way to level your gear score. This area, like I said before, is a great way to level your gear score by fighting the elite mobs. There's also five elite chests in this small area.
As you can see, all these mobs are pretty easy whenever you have a large group of people like this, especially when they're putting their fire down, their meteor showers, their ice pylons, their void circles and such. Um, this is actually a lot more fun if you can get like two groups, like 10 people, 15 people. It's actually pretty uh, tough then. You got pretty excited there when I saw that orange. I thought maybe I got a 600 gear score legendary item, but it was just one of the crafting components for some of the um, weapons that aren't really that great. This next area up here has three elite chests with three summoners guarding it. Um, a palace, basically a palace maiden, like a small version, and then um, one of the samurais. Now, after we finish this area and get these three elite chests and gather up any gear that's dropped, any of the bags that are dropped from these different creatures, we will head back the path that we came and then up through the main part of the palace to fight Daisy the Dancing Bear and his sidekick, Palace Main Zial. Now we're getting ready to head back and fight Daisy the Dancing Bear and Palace Main Ziao. Daisy the Dancing Bear drops a fantastic Warhammer for a tank. And then there's a pretty cool bow that's dropped from Palace Main Ziao. You can check all these items out if you look at an awesome site called New World Database. You can basically type in the name of the, the weapon or the name of the area you're in. Look for the elite monsters. You can type in the name of the monster and it'll show you all their drops. It's a pretty cool site. You should check it out. After killing these mobs, there's three elite chests behind them. We'll gather that material, and then we'll go and we'll jump over the side there and go down and fight the last palace guard with his henchmen. Alright, so now we drop down the hill after Daisy the Dancing Bear and Palace Main Ziao. We get a couple small chests, and there's a chest in the house up here to the right. And then here's the Palace Guard with his uh, six henchmen. We battle him. He has a good chance of dropping some 600 gear score items as well for your gear score.
point. Now's time to warp out and go back to town and check out and see what we got. Um, as you'll see, I probably got 25, 30 pieces of gear, four or five pieces of furnishing. Um, it's definitely a great way to level your gear score. All these world tour sites are Imperial Palace, the Scorch Mines, Merc Guard, Mangled Heights, uh, Siren Stand, um, the Eternal Pools. As always, thanks guys and girls for watching. I'm very, very appreciative of it. Hope everybody has a nice evening. Um, if you find any of this content useful, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.